into our wishbone stretch. So we're going to slide our feet. Take a giant breath. And as those elbows come down to the mat, you're going to slide your feet wider and wider and wider. And when you're at the point where you can't slide them anymore, the elbows come down to the mat. And we put our forehead on our hands. Just breathe deeply. And for our final stretch, we're going to leave our head low. And place your hands behind your back, but push up to the ceiling. All right, so warm up time. I'm going to show you three different warm ups depending on how energetic you feel this morning. So, starting with the advanced option, then we'll do a middle of the road option, and we'll do a basic option. So this is a classic trainer's exercise called the inchworm. It's designed to stretch the rear part of the leg, the posterior chain. So throughout this, your legs are straight. You're going to roll your shoulders and watch my legs. They're straight. And you're going to use your hands to walk yourself out. Now in the advanced option, you're going to do one push-up and then walk your hands Back. All right, keeping your legs straight at all times. Middle of the road option, no push-ups. Roll your shoulders, keep the legs straight, walk yourself out, execute a plank just like this, back flat, and walk in. Now, if you have not had your third cup of coffee this morning, here's what you're going to do. You're going to start in the child's pose. And as uh, we are walking out, you're going to glide your hands out, come up to a plank, and then walk your hands in. So walk your hands out to a plank, walk your hands in, and child's pose. So there's something for everybody. So if you want to start off with a basic option until you see what you can do, that's fine. Graduate to the middle of the road and then the advanced to the end. All right, everybody ready? So start with a shoulder roll. So roll your shoulders and walk it out. It's four, three, two, one. Push up. Walk your hands in. Four, three, two. One, roll the shoulders, walk it out, four, three, two, one, down, two, up, two, and walk it in, let's do it again, roll the shoulders, all the way down, walk your hands out, three, two, one, push up, walk it, four, three, Let's do two more. Roll your shoulders. Walk it out. Four, three, two, one. Push up, down, two, up, two. Walk it in. Three, one more. Roll your shoulders. Walk it out. Four, three, two, one. Push up, down, two, up, two. Walk it in. Take a big forward fold and stretch. Woo! That'll get your juice popping this morning. Oh. Ooh, sorry about that. Okay, Pilates. So we're going to borrow a little bit from bar. That's two R's. Get too excited, I can even drink a kind of bar. <laughs> and we're going to be doing plies. Now, interestingly enough, in Pilates, this position with the feet together, the heels together, and the toes out, those Pilates call this Pilates position, okay? In ballet, we call it first position, so there's a lot of crossover. So here's what we're going to do today. We're going to start off
Hold on. Find a nice level. We're going to do a first position plie. So your heels are going to be together, and you're going to keep your back flat. In other words, you don't stick your slot out as you do your squat. All right, you tuck your tailbone in, and you come down like this, and then on your toes. So the first set is the hardest. And if you want to go to the wall for your plie, that's fine. So the plie looks like this, okay? With your tailbone, top, chest. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at this huge hairball here. I thought it was a mouse. So, you see that here? I'm like, what is a mouse doing in the gym today? Woo! And then, second position, feet wide. We're going to do our second step. Then we're going to come up on our toes. So naturally, the modification, don't come up on your toes. Keep your heels down. Then we're going to play with this a little bit. We're going to flash the heels up, down, up, down, up, down, and then together. Then, because weight there is more, we're going to pulse, 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 pulse. And by that time, You'll be ready to kill me, but that's okay. I'm a big girl, I can take it. So, we're going to do sets down one up, three down, two up, two. Our first set is the toe plie. Keep your heels down if you can't come up to the toes, or like Rick is doing against the wall. Or right, here we go, down one up, three. Down, up, two, three. Down, up, two, three. Heels down if you have to. It's not a problem, I assure you. All right, down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, down, three, up, one. Three, two, one, lift, three. Two, keep your eyes on a spot on the floor. Focus on that spot. Three, two, one down, four up, four. Four, three, two, one. Don't lift your eyes. Look at that spot on the floor. Stay balanced, stay focused. Now we're going to do 16 singles. 16, 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Get ready for second position. 5, we'll miss that one, sorry. 4, 3, 2. Now heels down, nice wide stance. Down one, up, 2, 3, down, up. Feet really, really wide. And keep your toes pointed out at a 45 degree angle. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, down, three, up, one. Three, two, one. And lift at three, two. One, lift, three, two, one, three, two, down, four, up, four, four, three, two, one, lift, three, two, one, down, three, two, one, and here is our second set of singles. Sixty, fifty, forty. 13, 12, 11, looks good, 10, 9, now the third set we're going to do on our toes, this is called a sip squat, that's S-I-double-F as in crack, if you cannot do the sip squat, stay on your heels, alright, up on the toes, down one, down, up, two, 
straight down, up, two, three, down, up, two, three, down, up, down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two, down, two, down, three, up, one, three, two, one, lift, and three, two, stay focused on that spot on the floor, do not lift your eyes, don't get distracted, last set of fours, now slow it down, three, two, balance, push from the balls of your feet, four, three, two, one, and now let's do our final set of singles, toes or heels, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, now we're not finished yet, here's the bonus round, you're going to stay on your toes and flash your heels up and down, sway side to side, let's limber up the hips, side to side, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, all right, let's count it, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and now both heels at the same time. 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, and stay in your toes if you can. Tiny little pulses. Almost done. Pulse, 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 pulse. A little bit lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now a little bit lower. Woo! Eight, seven, six, five. Let's finish the 16 singles, then we're done. 16, 15. 14, your legs should be like jello. 12, 11, you're not gonna like me now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, final four, 3, 2, and 1, and let's stretch. But you know what you're going to love me? One day you're going to look in the mirror and you're going to see these shaky legs and you're going to say, wow, where did that come from? I'm here to tell you, you can thank Joe Pilates for that because he's going to give us ballet dancer legs. All right, because we can't stand up anymore, we're going to go down to the mat. And now we're going to concentrate on my favorite muscle group, which is... Boom, right, you got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to be doing three exercises on each side. Now, in the advanced option, you're going to be in quadruped position, just like this. In your modification, you can do a crouch position on your elbows. This is way, way comfortable. Love this. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Three exercises. First, fire hydrants. Make sure you're not tucking your chin. Right? Now, second exercise. We're going to straighten that leg. And we're going to do a couple sets of circles. Now, here, you're going to find you want to lean over. Please try not to do that. Let your hips do all the work. And then the third and final exercise. Just down, up, down, up. All right, let's start on the left side first. All right, flat back, lift it. 60, 50, 
14, 13, 12, looks good, 11, after we get to tire, go down to your elbows, 8 more, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, now let's stretch out the leg, and do our circles, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, just one more, reverse it, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, come on, don't lean, please, don't lean, now down and up, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, here's our last 4 on the left, 3, 2, and 1, nicely done, you look amazing, let's take our child's foot stretch and let's do the same thing on the right side. Alright, let's get into position, remember I want the back flat, please don't lean or tuck your chin. Alright, let's lift that right knee up. It's 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and we're going to straighten out the leg and do our leg circles. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We have one more set of circles. Let's reverse the direction. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five. Now the leg is going to go down and up, and then we will rest. And then 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and our final four. 3, 2, and 1, and let's take our child's pose stretch and get all our wrists and rest it. Now from the child's pose, we're going to go into our downward dog. So, smoothly lift the hips. And then we're going to take those heels down and up, down and up, and stretch the posterior chain. Now push with your hands firmly until the heels fall flat on the mat. And let's just hold it there. Alright, relax. Alright. So I'm going to show you a couple ways to do this next exercise. We're going to do this from the downward dog position. So in the advanced option, the right leg is going to go in the center. And you're going to start on your toe, bending the knee. So you're going to cross your ankles, cross on the toe, and then lift as the heel comes down. So it's cross ankles on the toe, Lift the leg, heel flat. Cross on the toe, lift on the heel. Cross on the toe, lift on the heel. Alright, so it's sort of an, it's an asymmetrical exercise, of course. Now, option. You can 
do this on your hands. I don't know, for some reason, my wrists are really sore today. I must have been something I did yesterday working out. So you can do this in either position. You're going to do a donkey kick. Here's your modification. Crunch on the toe, lift on the heel. Crunch on the toe, lift on the heel. Or, if you want something a little bit more advanced, cross your thighs, lift. Crunch, lift, crunch, lift. Now, if you take the modification, try to get your knee all the way across on the other side. Because what we're working is right here. So cross and lift. All right, so those are your options. We're all going to start the same way. However, we'll start with our child's pose. And from the child's pose to our downward dog. Let's pop the heel. Up and down, up and down. Now push your heels flat against the back. Walk your hands in. Let's start with the right foot in the center. All right, and then remember, we're going to start on the toe. So cross on the toe. Lift on the heel. Cross your ankles. Lift the leg. Cross on the toe, lift on the heel. Cross on the toe. We've got 12 more to go. Cross on the heel, lift on the heel. Cross on the toe, lift on the heel. 10 more. Cross, lift. You're taking the modification. You're crossing your thighs. Cross, lift. Seven, and lift. Six, and lift, five, and lift, four, and lift, three, last two, cross your ankles, lift the leg, one more, cross, lift, nicely done, all right, stretch it out. Side, so from your child's pose position, smoothly glide up into your downward dog. Let's take a minute and tap the heels up and down, up and down. Now push your heels flat and stretch it out. You should push strongly enough that you can get that little tiny crack in your back. Now walk your hands in. All right, here we go. Left foot in the center. Cross on the toe. Lift on the heel. Cross on the toe. Lift on the heel. Cross on the toe. Lift on the heel. Cross on the toe. All right, here's 12. 12. Lift. 11. Lift. 10. Nine, eight, lift, seven, lift, six, lift, five. Here's our final four. Cross on the toe, lift on the heel. Cross on the toe, final two. Cross on the toe, lift on the heel. Cross on the toe, lift, and let's take our stretch. So now, our bodies feel like we want to roll on the side and relax, so let's do that. Let's roll on our left side. So I thought it would be nice to do just plain leg lifts with nothing fancy added because we want to focus on the form and Pilates form always is a stretched leg and we're going to point that toe and every time you lift that leg I want you to in your mind at least push your toes towards the ceiling. You notice how I'm pushing and I can get that slight little elevation from my hip. 
So we're going to do 16 of these. Then we're going to flex the foot. Tap the heels. Tap, 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 tap. And we'll do two sets on each side. So let's start with our stretch. Now point both sets of toes to the corner of the mat. All right, let's count it out. 16, 15, and push it, and push it, and stretch, stretch, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three. Two. Now we're going to tap our toes. Tiny taps. Tap, 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 tap. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Let's do it again. Point your toes. Lift it. 6, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, and our final 8, 7, but nice and straight, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and finally tap, 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 16, 15, 14, 13, you should be feeling it right here, right in your hip joint. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's stretch up the knee to your chest. And stretch out the leg, little ankle circles here. And pull your heel to your glutes. And let's roll over on our right side and do the same. All right, relaxing. Start with that stretch, that Pilates stretch. And remember, you're going to be pushing on each rep. All right, so both sets of toes to the corner of the mat. All right, let's count. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, let's tap our heels together, 16, 15, 14, 13, tap, 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 Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last time, lift, point the to toe. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Last four of these, and one more set of taps. Two more. Two. And finally, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, final four. Three, two, one, and let's hug the knee to the chest. And then lift your leg. Itty bitty little ankle circles here. And then pull your heel to the glute, and it's time for a break. So let's roll over on our back and then we'll take a nice deep stretch. So knees to the left, arms to the right, and we're going to do some classic Pilates. Relax your body so your knees track down to the floor. And the same thing on the other side. Relax your whole torso. And let those knees come all the way down. Take that magnificent stretch. 
All right, we're going to be doing hip circles. And uh, we're going to do these, we're going to do actually three different exercises, all hitting the same muscle groups. So right where my hand is, right where that hip joint is, that part of your body is called your, your trochanter. And at least on my body, the trochanter is flat. Okay, so that's where all the muscles and tendons meet. And then your glutes come out to the rear and your abs and catch on the front. So we're going to work that whole complex. So this is an old original Pilates exercise and it's called the corkscrew. We're going to be flat on our back. And remember when we did the plies, your feet are going to be in plie position. So the heels are going to be together and point the bottom of your foot towards the ceiling. And we're going to make subtle little circles. The hardest part of this exercise is keeping your knees together. So your heels are together, your knees are together. And we're going to go slowly because it's not an easy exercise. And just feel those hips moving. Second exercise, we're going to do hip circles. We're going to do them slow. Point the toe, knees together, down on the left, up on the right, down on the right, up on the left. Very, very slow. <laughs> the third and final exercise is the turbo chunk hip circle. Down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two. And I want you to throw your legs and pull up, throw, Pull, throw, pull. All right, so I'll remind you of that one a bit. All right, so number one, kudos to Mr. Pilates for this classic corkscrew. Heels to the ceiling and turn, turn. Right, let's count them from eight. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, let's reverse it. Eight, remember your heels are together, your knees are together. Five, four, three, two, your legs should be aching. Let's reverse it. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, we're going to do this one more time, we'll take a break. Right, let's reverse it last time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, bend your knees to hug your knees to your chest. I think that's the most tension we've ever used for a leg exercise ever. All right, so now we're going to relax the legs and point the toes. And we're going to go down to the left, four, three, two, one. Pull up on the right, four, three, two, one, and then reverse. All right, let's start down on the left. So it's down, three, two, one. Then it's on the right, three, Two, one, now down on the right. Three, two, one. Pull up on the left. Big, huge circle. Down on the left. Three, two, one. Pull up on the right. Three, two, one. Down on the right. Three, two, one. Pull up on the left. And again. And down. Three, two, one. Lift. Three, two, one, down on the right, three, two, one, and do that. We're going to do four more. On the left, down, three, two, one, lift on the right. Keep your knees together, keep those legs straight, keep the tension on your legs. Roll it up. All right, two more. To the left, three, two, one. Pull it up on the right. One more. And 
down now. We're going to speed it up. We're going to go right to our turbo charge. Down to up to. So it's down. Two. Up. Two to the right. Down. Two. Up. Two. So swing it out. Pull it up. Swing it out. Pull it up. Let's count. Eight. Pull to the right. Seven. Pull to the left. Six. Pull to the right. Five. Pull to the left. Four. Pull to the right. Three. Pull to the left. Two. Pull. And one. All right. Let's take a stretch. Knees to the chest. I made a mess, so give me a minute. <laughs> you know, there's parts of me that like never blew up. <laughs> we could use a break. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now we're going to work those hips a little bit more. We're going to do something called thread the needle. Exercise in control. You've got that leg and you've got to make it do what you want it to do. So we're going to come up into a toe bridge like this. I'm going to start with my right leg. So when I say control, what I mean is we're going to thread the needle with the right toes. You're going to take those toes and you're going to stick them under your left knee like this, like you're pushing the thread through, lift it up, under the knee, lift it up. So that leg needs to go just where it's supposed to. You can't just flop it around, right? So it's a great metaphor, threading the needle. All right, so on your left toes, let's start with the right toes under the left knee. Under and lift, under and lift. 14, 13, so it's under the knee, lift the leg, under the knee, lift the leg, under the knee, this is 10, 9, 8, lift, 7, Five. And here's our last four on the right leg. Three. Two more. We'll take a little stretch. Two. And one. Alright, rest, rest. Oh yeah. I'm the knees to the chest. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Back into your toe bridge. Left toes under the right knee. Here we go. So it's under the knee. Lift the leg. Under the knee. Lift the leg. Under the knee. Lift the leg. Under the knee. Let's count to 12. 12. Lift. 11. Lift. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And here's our last one, under, and lift, and let's get our hips down, and take your knees, I'm putting a hand on each knee, and I'm going to roll my knees, make knee circles. Now, here's another classic Pilates exercise, 
we're going to do a single leg stretch. So this is interesting. The way you hold your leg in class of Pilates. So one leg, I'm going to start with my left leg because you can see this leg a little better. Take your right hand, put it on your hamstring, and the left hand is going to be on your calf. You're going to lift your shoulders and point the knee to your nose. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Pulse. Right, let's count from 60. Starting on the left. 60. 50. 40. 30. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. Try to keep your knees straight, please. 6. 5. 4. Three, two, one. Now relax in an L position with your legs at a right angle to your body. We're going to do legs down and up. And you know what I'm going to tell you? Keep your back flat. So as the legs come down right about here, your spine is going to arch. At that point, I want you to push your spine flat against the mat. If you're just not able to do that, for this exercise, take your hands and put them under the scroll of your back so your spine has something to push against. All right, toes in the air, down, two, up, two, let's do eight, lift, seven, keep pushing your spine. Flat against the back. Six, five, four, lift, three, lift, and now we're going to repeat the whole thing. Two, so leg stretch. Left leg to your nose. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. 12, 11, hold that leg, hold that leg, 8, 7, stretch, stretch, final 4, 3, 2, now the leg's going to go down and up, last time, down, 2, up, 2, push your spine, flat against the mat, 6, 4, Six, lift, five, lift, four, lift, three, lift, two, lift, and one, and done. Woo! Oh, my abs are singing to me. They're singing. Mercy, mercy me. All right, let's do our hip flexor stretch now. Start with the left leg. Crisscross your right ankle over your left knee and put your hands behind your left thigh, right on the hamstring. Pull, pull, pull that left leg firmly to your chest. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Pull the right leg to the chest. Now we're going to do a pretzel. Let's cross your legs over your stomach. Each hand is on the opposite foot. And now pull the legs in towards your body. And our happy baby. So hands on the soles of the feet. Come on up. And flex your feet so that the bottom of your foot is facing the ceiling. And now hands on the ankles, tap your toes, extend the legs, tap and extend. And now knees together, let's roll ourselves up. 
Roll your shoulders. Round your back. Tuck your chin. And put your fingertips on your toes. And that is our Pilates for today, a bright sunny day. I'm sorry we had to miss Tuesday, but I will certainly, barring another weather event, I'll see you next Tuesday for sure. So thank you, everybody, and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thumbnail, it's like killing me when you're ready. I can't see, yeah, I got that too. I mean, it was like, I had to, it's like, no. I can't, I can't, my finger's gone, so I can't change it. I can't do that.